Let's talk about something we all need to survive air. It's something we often take for granted, but the quality of the air we breathe can have a profound impact on our health and well-being. More specifically, let's talk about how the air in some places is trying to kill you. Yes, you heard that right. In many cities around the world, air pollution levels have reached alarming heights, posing serious health risks to the inhabitants. Air pollution is no joke. It's linked to health problems like asthma, heart disease and cancer. Imagine struggling to breathe every day or worrying about long-term health issues just because of the air around you. It's a harsh reality for millions of people. In some cities, the air quality is just really bad. We're talking about air so thick with pollutants that it can obscure the skyline and make it difficult to see even a few blocks ahead. People have to wear masks just to go about their daily lives. Today, we're diving into the top 20 most air polluted cities of 2024. These cities have the highest levels of air pollution and the statistics are truly staggering. From industrial emissions to vehicle exhaust, the sources of pollution are numerous and varied. Get ready to be shocked maybe even a little angry and hopefully motivated to do something about it because while the situation is dire there are steps we can take to improve air quality from supporting clean energy initiatives to advocating for stricter environmental regulations every action counts so let's dive in and see which cities top the list and what we can learn from their struggles first up at number one is Dhanbad, India known as the coal capital of India Burning coal releases sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides and PM25 particles, leading to respiratory and cardiovascular problems. Danbad also deals with industrial emissions and vehicular pollution, creating a perfect storm of bad air. Next up, we're heading east to Hotan, China. Located near the Taklamakan Desert, dust storms are a regular thing here. Hotan's growing industrial sector adds to the pollution. Combining industrial emissions with frequent dust storms results in really bad air. It's a double whammy of natural and human-made pollution. Coming in at number three, we have Ghaziabad, India. Industrial pollution, construction dust, and vehicle emissions are major issues. PM2, five particles hang in the air, especially during winter, making breathing risky. Ghaziabad's air pollution is a complex problem with no easy solutions. At number four, it's New Delhi, almost synonymous with smog, especially in winter. The Himalayas trap pollutants and crop stubble burning adds smoke to the air. Delhi has one of the highest vehicle densities contributing to the smog. Industrial emissions, construction dust and Diwali fireworks worsen the crisis. It's a problem that demands attention, innovation and collective action. At number five, Accra, Ghana, a growing city grappling with pollution. Accra is experiencing rapid growth and development, but with that comes air pollution. The city, once known for its clear skies and vibrant atmosphere, is now facing a significant environmental challenge. As more people move to Accra in search of better opportunities, the demand for housing, transportation and infrastructure increases, leading to more construction and vehicular traffic. Waste burning is a major contributor due to limited waste management infrastructure. In many parts of the city, residents resort to burning their waste in open areas, releasing harmful pollutants into the air. This practice not only affects the air quality, but also poses health risks to the local population, especially children and the elderly. Vehicle emissions and industrial activities add to the poor air quality. The increasing number of cars on the road, many of which are older models with less efficient engines, contribute significantly to the pollution. Additionally, factories and industrial plants, often located near residential areas, emit large amounts of smoke and other pollutants, further degrading the air quality. Accra's story is a reminder that air pollution is a global issue. The city's struggle with pollution is not unique. Many urban areas around the world face similar challenges. However, the impact is often more severe in developing nations where resources for combating pollution are limited. Developing nations are particularly hard hit as they balance economic growth and environmental sustainability. The need for rapid development often takes precedence over environmental concerns, leading to a cycle of pollution and health problems. It is crucial for these nations to find sustainable solutions that allow for growth while protecting the environment and the health of their citizens. Number six, Kathmandu, Nepal, a valley choked by pollution. Kathmandu's bowl-like geography traps pollutants. Dust from unpaved roads, emissions from brick kilns and vehicle exhaust contribute to the problem. Kathmandu's air pollution affects the city and surrounding mountains, impacting ecosystems and tourism. 
Number 7. Faisalabad, Pakistan the textile industry's toxic toll. Faisalabad is a major industrial center known for its textile production. The textile industry releases dyes, chemicals, and particulate matter into the air. Vehicle emissions add to the mix, impacting the health of the city's residents. Number eight, Mumbai, India, the city that never sleeps and never stops polluting. Mumbai faces unique challenges with air pollution due to its density of people, vehicles, and industries. Traffic congestion, construction sites, and factories contribute to constant pollution. Mumbai's coastal location means pollutants can get trapped by sea breezes, creating a toxic haze. Number 9 Lahore, Pakistan, a city engulfed in smog. Lahore suffers from industrial emissions, vehicular pollution and crop burning in neighboring Indian states. This seasonal burning worsens Lahore's air quality, especially in winter. Lahore's situation illustrates the transboundary nature of air pollution. Number 10 Tehran. Tehran is surrounded by mountains, trapping pollutants. Heavy traffic congestion and limited public transportation options add to the problem. Dust storms from neighboring countries further deteriorate the air quality. Number 11, Chennai is a major economic hub, but its rapid growth has led to air pollution. Construction sites, booming industries and traffic contribute to the problem. Chennai's roads are often clogged with vehicles spewing out exhaust fumes. Number 12, Mexico City. Mexico City's geography traps pollutants, making it difficult for them to disperse. The volume of vehicles and industrial emissions contribute to bad air days. The city has implemented initiatives to combat pollution, including driving restrictions and promoting cleaner industries. Mexico City's efforts offer a glimmer of hope and a model for other cities. Number 13 takes us back to India, to the city of Kolkata. Kolkata relies on coal-fired power plants, releasing harmful pollutants. Traffic congestion adds to the problem, with vehicles spewing out exhaust fumes. Rapid industrialization and urbanization have led to severe air pollution. For number 14, we're heading north to Ular and Bata, Mongolia. During long, harsh winters, residents rely heavily on coal stoves for heating. These stoves pump out smoke and particulate matter, blanketing the city in smog. At number 15, we're back in Pakistan, this time in the bustling port city of Karachi. Karachi's location on the coast and rapid industrial growth have resulted in severe air pollution. The shipping industry and industrial emissions are major culprits. Vehicular emissions add to the mix, creating a toxic environment. Cairo, Egypt, a city lost in a cloud of dust and pollution. Cairo's location on the edge of the Sahara Desert means dust storms are common. Heavy traffic congestion, industrial emissions and open burning of waste contribute to poor air quality. The city is often blanketed in a thick haze, especially during the hotter months. Cairo's air pollution problem is a mix of natural and human-made factors. Dhaka, Bangladesh, a city overwhelmed by pollution. Dhaka's density and rapid industrial growth have led to severe air pollution. The brick kiln industry is a major contributor, releasing black carbon and other harmful substances. Exhaust fumes from congested streets and construction dust add to the problem. Number 18 brings us to Beijing, China. Beijing has made significant strides in cleaning up its air with strict regulations and cleaner energy sources. However, coal burning and traffic congestion continue to pose challenges. Beijing's story shows that progress is possible with concerted effort and political will. For number 19, we're heading to Bangkok, Thailand. Traffic congestion is a major contributor to Bangkok's air pollution woes. Dust from construction sites, industrial emissions and agricultural fires add to the problem. And finally, at number 20, we arrive in Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta's massive population, rapid industrial growth and heavy reliance on private vehicles create severe air pollution. Traffic congestion and industrial emissions further deteriorate the air quality. So there you have it, the top 20 most air polluted cities of 2024. These cities from various corners of the globe are grappling with severe air quality issues that impact millions of lives every single day. It's a sobering list, a stark reminder that air pollution is one of the biggest environmental challenges we face today. The thick smog that blankets these urban areas is not just an eyesore. It's a silent killer, contributing to respiratory diseases, heart conditions and even premature deaths. From the coal capitals of India to the bustling streets of Southeast Asia, millions of people are breathing in air that's slowly poisoning them. The sources of this pollution are varied. 
Industrial emissions, vehicular exhaust and even household activities contribute to the toxic air. The impact is felt most acutely by the vulnerable populations, including children and the elderly, but this isn't just about pointing fingers, it's about understanding the complex web of factors that lead to such dire conditions and working collaboratively to find solutions. Governments, industries and individuals all have roles to play in this fight against air pollution. This is about recognizing that we're all in this together. Air pollution is not confined by geographical boundaries. It's a global issue that requires a united effort. When one city suffers, the effects can ripple out, impacting neighboring regions and even countries far away. Air pollution knows no borders. It affects us all, regardless of where we live. The air we breathe circulates around the planet, carrying pollutants from one place to another. This interconnectedness means that the actions we take locally can have far-reaching consequences. If we want to ensure a healthy future for ourselves and for generations to come, we need to act now. This means advocating for cleaner energy sources, supporting policies that reduce emissions, and making lifestyle changes that contribute to better air quality. Together we can clear the air and create a world where everyone can breathe freely.